the Saloon Theater, most of you folks know me as Six Gun Miller. This story, I think, was a pretty good idea from Leon and Michelle. I got the good fortune of meeting them on a very hot day in Tucson here a few weeks ago. And they struck me as very in-depth researchers and historians. Me being a historic presenter, that was right down my alley. Well, most of my life I've been around horses of all kinds and I enjoy a nice horse ride in the desert early in the morning when it's nice and cool out. And then I put the horse up, it'd get hot here real quick. As far as guns go, been around guns all my life. I've been the firearm safety director and DLC, the Discovery Channel, probably 300 live events or more, and that's what I do. Now, this particular segment of this movie is involving the Lincoln County War. There were two factions in the Lincoln County War. One, John Tunstall and his crew, and the Dolphin and Murphy gang, known as the House. The House was corrupt. John Tunstall was 24 years old when he arrived in Lincoln County, had a pocket full of daddy's money and wanted to build a big ranch. He didn't understand how things worked in Lincoln County. Well, the Dolans and the Murphys took a big hatred real quick of Mr. Tunstall, but he went ahead and bought his land, started buying cattle and hiring a crew. Part of that crew was William Money. You'll know him as Billy the Kid later. Billy witnessed Mr. Tunstall get on his horse one day and ride up to the crest of the hill where a posse had just crossed over onto his land. Mr. Tunstall wanted to know why they were there. In that posse was another corrupt individual by the name of Billy Morton. As Mr. Tunstall rode up, before he even had time to say anything, Billy Morton put a bullet in his head. Billy witnessed that. At that point, Billy pretty much swore at the funeral I will get every son of a bitch that was involved with killing John if it's the last thing I ever do. That quote was remembered. The gang of uh, the house pretty much took over what John Tunstall had by force at that point, and Billy teamed up with a lawyer by the name of McSween. And I'm sure you saw in the movie where they burned the house down. Mr. Mr. McQueen ran outside and of course was one of the 19 killed in that four day period of time. I think the most important and bravest person in that whole shootout between those two factions was one innocent, a 12 year old black boy. He ran back and forth between lines carrying notes to each opposing faction to try and stop the shooting. Unfortunately, his name has been lost to history. Billy the Kid went on and terrorized the area around Fort Sumner for quite a few years, up until the point that the house decided they would hire Pat Garrett, a friend of Billy's, to go and find Billy. He did. He brought Billy into the Lincoln County Jail, where Billy then promptly escaped, killing Sheriff Brady and one more deputy on his way out of town. This time the house got serious. They sent back Pat to find Billy once again but this time, it wasn't to bring Billy in. Now, I'm not real sure if Pat Garrett actually killed Billy the Kid, but I will say this. After that event, Mr. Garrett, with all the notoriety that he had occurred, accrued, became quite famous and was elected sheriff in a small town, also in New Mexico. While he was out back one night relieving himself, a man walked up and shot him directly in the back. Now, I'm not real sure who done that killing, but I'm sure of this. My seventh cousin, seven times removed, was killing Jim Miller. Shortly after that death of Pat Garrett, Mr. Miller came into a great deal of money. After that, they hung Mr. Miller in Ada, Oklahoma to keep his mouth shut. Welcome to the law.